you want to create cool animations but don't have the skills to keyframe, no problem. I have a collection with a few boxes in and an empty object as a starting point. Add another cube and from the geometry nodes editor, give it a new geometry nodes tree. For starters, we will need to sample the cubes collection and click separate children. Also sample the empty object and add a position node. We're going to use the empty to animate everything so let's do some vector math and add its location with the position node. Now we use this to drive the scale in a scale instance node linked to the collection of cubes. Now if we move the empty, all the cubes change but it's kind of weird. To fix this, just add a float curve before the scale instance node. That's better but things still look weird. From the vector mat, separate just the x coordinate. Now things are going in reverse, change the vector mat node from add to subtract. To make things more interesting, we can divide that vector by the scale over empty. Now everything looks smoother. We can also play with the curves for a more popping effect or a much smoother scaling of the cubes. And if you want to randomize everything, just add a noise and multiply it on top of our vectors, right before we separate the XYZ coordinates. With some tweaking of the noise texture, every cube starts to scale at its own pace. We can do the same thing for the position of the cubes, their respective rotation, and don't forget to play with the curves to get some interesting results. Now that we have everything set, let's just animate the position of the empty and swap out the cubes with something a little more interesting. Then render everything out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching.